What is going on everybody? I am back today to talk about a film that is a little bit older, but I thought that it would be fun to discuss this movie for a couple of reasons. The first one being, this movie is directed by Todd Haynes, who I recently did a review for Todd Haynes' newest film, May, December. I've seen a few of Todd Haynes' films, and I've really enjoyed everything that I've watched in his filmography thus far. And the second reason why I wanted to watch and review this movie right now is the movie takes place around Christmas, and so I thought it would be a perfect time to review this movie and to watch it for the first time. I'm not 100% sure why I put this movie off for so many years, but I'm glad that I finally got a chance to watch it. And the movie I'm gonna be discussing with you today is Carol. Carol is directed by Todd Haynes. In 1950s New York, a department store clerk who dreams of better life falls for an older married woman. So I knew who the actors were in this. I knew it was directed by Todd Haynes. So I felt like I had a decent understanding of what the tone was going to be like in this movie and I knew I was going to get two powerhouse performances from Rooney Mara and Kate Blanchett and I was very excited to watch this film and this movie is incredible. Uh, I would actually call this film a masterpiece. This movie is easily in one of my new favorite films that I've seen, especially films that take place around the holiday season, and I'm excited to tell you about it today. At the beginning of the film, we're introduced to Therese, played by Rooney Mara, and she's working at a department store where they where she sells toys, and we see a little bit about her life early on. She's dating this guy who wants to marry her. She's not 100% sure that she's ready for that level of commitment, and we just get snapshots into her life. She seems to have this longing for for something more in her life. She just feels kind of like she's on her own and despite trying to build a life for herself, everything doesn't feel like it's going the way she necessarily wants it to. And one day Carol, played by Kate Blanchett, comes into the store that she works in and wants to get a toy for her daughter for Christmas. And she's looking for a specific type of doll and uh, Therese says, I don't really know much about dolls. I was actually really into model trains. And she said, we just got this model train in it's amazing and she says you know what that's what I'm gonna order so she orders that from her the two of them go their separate ways but Carol leaves her gloves behind at the department store and so Therese ends up sending the gloves there the two of them start having conversations on the phone and they end up meeting because Carol wants to repay her for sending the gloves back and the two of them meet they start having these conversations they spend more time together and the entire film is the blossoming relationship between these two characters and kind of getting more insight into what's going on in Carol's life, the, the things that have happened to her before, understanding Teresa's headspace a little bit more, and really just building these characters up and examining their relationship. So as I said, I loved this movie. I would honestly consider this film a masterpiece, and that's for a multitude of reasons. The first being the performances. Rooney Mara and Kate Blanchett in this film are both absolutely incredible and what I love about their performances in this film and I've spoken highly about Todd Haynes as a director because he is able to get this level of performance from his actors is the nuance in the facial expressions and the bodily movements and the interactions with these characters most of the passion and the romance that we experience between these two characters in this film are through a glance and a look and a small touch and they're so much more that is said through that than through dialogue and I think obviously you have two incredible actresses Kate Blanchett's been doing this for a very long time she is absolutely amazing there's virtually no film that I've seen Kate in even if it's not a good movie she always gives an incredible performance and she's a seasoned actress who has done so much incredible work in her career and it's no exception in this movie she is just so dynamic and her character has so much personality and I just love watching her in this film Rooney Mara the exact same Rooney Mara throughout her career has impressed me again and again and again and in this movie I really loved the quiet nature of her performance I feel like we see very early on how to herself her character is and really just it wants more out of life and is trying to do more for herself but is kind of afraid to really say anything
anything or to stand up for herself in situations. And kind of building this relationship with Carol starts to bring out the best in her. And we kind of see that shift in her character. And I really love that. And I think that these performances just complement each other so well. As per Todd Haynes as usual in the films of his that I have seen, the cinematography and the production design in this film are incredible. I love the way that it's shot. You can tell that this movie is shot on film. It has that grainy texture to it. The cold winter environment complements the mood and the tone because the moments that the characters are together, there's this warmth that just kind of radiates from the screen whenever we see these two characters interact, contrasted with the really cold exterior shots. And I love that about the movie as well. The score that accompanies this is absolutely beautiful. It's very loud in moments and it's very subdued and quiet and others and I think it's perfectly cued in to really accompany these performances to where the performances are able to stand out and it's not just the music manipulating you emotionally you get so much out of the actors and their performances and I think you know movies like this are just so incredible to watch we're watching a movie about two queer women in the 1950s where Carol's character is going through a divorce with her husband she has had another affair with a woman earlier on and her husband is just so overly possessive and he's so mean towards her and she tries to you know meet him in the middle but he's doing everything that he can to kind of strip custody of her child away from her and you know to exist as a queer person in the 1950s I can only imagine how horrifying it was because you know if people found out that you were gay they thought you had a mental illness and would try to send you to a psych ward or possibly worse and watching this movie where this person is trying to fight so hard for the custody of their child while also trying to not shut off who they are as a person and trying to live their truth in the only way that they can it's it's a hard watch i mean it's it's really difficult to see because it was such it was so socially unacceptable at that time to be a gay person and i think the way that it's conveyed in this film is really powerful and and just the the small moments that really pack heavy emotional punches in this film that that i feel like most people who watch this film even if you are not a queer person there there are so many things you can relate to and seeing someone's pain and their hurt and just trying to be who they are and that's what i love so much about this movie is it's a tender and beautiful love story between these two characters that just says so much more underneath it all and it's not like there's really these heavy overblown emotional hollywood moments so much of it is in really quiet and tender and realistic moments that feel like slices of real life and i think that's why i loved this movie so much and why i love a lot of movies in this genre is because rather than feel overblown and unrealistic they feel like life they just feel like something that could truly happen to a person and it really impacted me a lot and i just thought it was absolutely beautiful the last shot of this movie was incredible I'm gonna be thinking about it for a really long time Todd Haynes could have done a lot of things to close this movie out and I think the way that he chose to close the movie was amazing I'm already excited to watch this film again and if you have never seen Carol before please do yourself a favor and watch it it is brilliant so have you seen Carol did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought I thought this movie was incredible I loved every second of it and I already can't can't wait to watch it again. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.